Good morning, everybody. Kathy here. Today's um, the 14th of December. It's Friday. Thank you for knowing the date. Anyway, um, something came up this morning. Um, I was going through my mail since I've been gone for a couple of weeks, and I decided to talk um, a little bit today about my income, where my income comes from. And so, first of all, the good news I found out today um, is that I got a raise with Social Security. So I got a $34 raise. Woohoo! Um, the other thing was I, I think I found out that I thought I was limited to only working so much a month, so many dollars a month. I know that's like an average of 14, 20 or something like that a month um, for me. And um, before they, the Social Security um, starts deducting money from my Social Security check, right? And well, today I read the letter for 2019, and because I'm under the age of, by the way, if you're, if I was 66 or more, I could make as much as I want up to 46,000 something a year. Wow. Um, not that I really wouldn't work that much, by the way, but cool. Um, but because I'm under 66, um, I can only make 17,000 a year. But up until this morning, I thought I had to work, I had to break that up over a month. Otherwise I couldn't work more than $1,420 worth of work in each month, right? So, but this letter states for the year. So I'm now believing, now I'm gonna call them to verify, or if any of you guys actually get social security and you know anything about this, please comment and let me know. Um, so it looks like I can earn, like if I work five months, six months out of the year, I can, in a row, you know, or in a clump or whatever, I could work, let's say I could work 40 hours a week for the month of May, and that's not gonna affect my social security because it's a yearly thing, right? So um, I'm going to do that. So anyway, you know I was sticking around because I was trying to pay off a credit card for my expenses with, um, the rig and so I was gonna just earn some extra money and get that paid down before I left well I'm so gonna do that um, but now I can work more hours which is gonna you know expedite my my departure so, okay so my Social Security that's where I get some of my income and then I have a retirement um, with the Department of Retirement in, in my state Washington Department of Retirement Services something like that so I get income from there. And I also get a little bit of income off my rental. Pretty much um, uh, the rental, the, the, the rent that I collect, part of it goes to the property manager and part of it goes to, um, well, me. And then I gotta pay the mortgage on the house. So um, I have a little bit of extra. Um, right now that extra has been going to my health insurance because my health insurance was like $600 a month after I left uh, my job and um, but next year for 2019 my health insurance is going to drop down to about 200 a month I believe and um, right around there I think 179 and that's also based on your income I guess um, and so that's gonna save me a little bit of money that I get extra from my rental was supposed to go just into my savings um, or my Roth and just not be touched, you know, um, emergency, but also, you know, um, the house may need a new roof in a, you know, 15 years and, and um, that type of thing. So, um, and then my budget um, for RVing um, or living in the RV full time. Now, keep in mind, I'm not really, I'm not considering myself a full timer yet because um, I'm living at my daughter in my daughter's driveway, in my, you know, basically. And but anyway, my budget for my RVing um, was pretty tight with my income, and then once I found out about the health insurance, man, that really got tight for me, which was kind of scary. I got so anyway, um, snow on the Olympics, that's really cool, I think. Um, it was, uh, I found out it was uh, like 20 degrees here for like a, a solid week. And I wasn't here for that, I was in Texas. And um, kind of happy I put those uh, tank heaters on my RV.
So anyway, um, back to what I was talking about. So my budget for full-time RVing before the accident and all the crap that happened um, this last summer um, was lodging and gas was $600. And that meant, um, you know, all my gas and any lodging that I did, meaning, you know, any fees for state parks and stuff like that. State parks are usually a lot more expensive, but they're nicer because they've got hookups where the, um, the National Park Service um, parks are usually primitive and which are fine for me. Um, I do like power, um, you know, I don't have to have it, but I do, I do like being hooked up because I can be on the internet a lot more and be on the um, computer a lot more, so I don't have solar in my RV. But anyway, I'm kind of going off on a rabbit trail, so sorry, squirrel. I gotta pay my mortgage on my house, of course, but you know, the rent offsets that, so that's good. It's, and it's a new house, so I don't expect any, you know, major problems with the house. It was, I built it in 2012, 13, so, um, I started at like September of 12 and finished at 13. But anyway, um, and then um, now I've budgeted now for my uh, health insurance for the last few months. It's been 600. Now I'm going to be going down to about 200. So that's my budget for that. And groceries about 400 a month. Now I've been doing a spreadsheet, even though I'm really not on the road, but I'm, I'm, I've been doing a spreadsheet so I could see how I'm fitting in that category because sometimes I am still going out camping like I was gone for that week um, around the Olympic Peninsula and Long Beach and um, so I've been doing that oh and I, I can't remember what my budget is for entertainment but I've got that um, lumped in with Netflix and Hulu and um, like eating out um, what I found over the last three months, I've done it now for September, October, and November, this spreadsheet, is I'm way over on lodging and um, way over on uh, entertainment. So um, it's kind of good to kind of do, you know, put all that down and, and look at that, right? So that was kind of an eye opener. And well, part of the reason I was um, over on um, lodging had to do with the fact that I stayed in a cabin in La Push for two nights and because my RV was broken and then I also stayed in a hotel at the Adrift Inn on Long Beach for another two nights so that's one of the reasons so that's what uh, 450 bucks right there gone um, in the month of October it was October so it's kind of interesting to see that my grocery um, bill should be way down but um, in actuality it's about normal it's three to four hundred um, even though I'm eating at my daughter's quite a bit I am buying groceries and I have things that I like that she doesn't buy that I, I still buy and and so I, I, and I go to Costco and I buy um, you know toilet paper and paper products because I'm using that stuff you know also because I'm in the house and um, so I'm kind of doing that but anyway up until um, recently when I really got my credit card um, way up there because of the hitch um, the medical bills from the emergency room and um, what's the other thing oh and the RV repairs of four thousand um, dollars I decided as you guys know I get to go back to work and I was gonna try to get that completely paid down or at least reasonable by you know April when I was gonna depart March April well, um, but it's kind of hard to do that because I was thought I was restricted to only um, $1,420 a month, but now I find out now I can work more. So I'm gonna really um, try to work a lot more in February, March, April. Um, those are the three months I'm going to really concentrate on working. I'm not gonna work no 40 hours a week, no way, but maybe 30, you know? And, um, and I think that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I could really um, put a lot down on that. But you know, one of the things for me is just to be have a budget, be conscious of what you're spending, and um, you know, putting it on a spreadsheet so you can actually see what you spent on those things. I don't think I would have realized how much I was eating out unless I, you know, did that. Um, and the reason I would be, I've been eating out a lot had a lot to do with I was going to leave. And um, I kept thinking, oh, okay, I'd leave in August. Well, that didn't happen. I'd leave in September. That didn't happen. Leave in October. That didn't happen. And um, also going to La Push and um, going out to eat there and going to Drift and going out to eat there. 
um, had a lot to do with the fact that I was wanting to have lunch and go to movies and stuff with my friends because guess what? I'm not working. I've got nothing to do. So I'm going out and eating more. So, um, and the pounds are showing too. So that's another thing. I'm, as of about four days ago, I'm dieting again. Woohoo! Uh, anyway, so, um, I just, that's what I want to talk to you about. I know that a lot of, um, people who have YouTube channels, um, try to talk about the day-to-day -day stuff too. And I know I don't do that too much because, you know, I, I think, gosh, it's been done a hundred times, but, um, my budget is kind of unique to me and what my income is and my special circumstances are. So I thought I would just share it with you. Oh, and another epiphany I had about that were the, um, like the Amazon.com jobs, you know, and the beet harvest job. So people who are retired are doing that, but they're working massive hours in that month. So I'm assuming um, it is okay to work up to that amount if they're un if I'm under, you know, if they're under that certain age. I don't know what that age is for everybody, but for me it's 66. So um, anyway, there you go. So still planning on going to the RTR, um, planning on departing uh, the 1st of January, and uh, decided to take a good portion of the trip on 101 because I don't want to go over um, any mountain passes. So I thought I would um, go ahead and take South 5 to uh, Longview area, cut over to 101, sand 101 till about Santa Rosa, cut over to Sacramento, and then get on five there, and then go down to I-10. Anyway, that's my plan, and um, I think I've got uh, someone who's caravanning with me, which is awesome, a good friend of mine, so um, I think that's great, so that, uh, you know, so I'm not all by myself. I've decided I'm not gonna take the Jeep this time, I think I mentioned that before, because right now, my RV should be in really, really super awesome condition right so I think and plus you know my, with my wrists and having to take the the hitch off and put it on is quite a challenge still that's another reason and I want to make this trip um, quick I have no more than five weeks to do it in so um, and be back because I've signed up for hours in February and March so I've got to be back here um, the other thing I thought of with doing the RTR um, not only because I really wanted to do it, but um, this this will give me a good, realistic trial run on living full time in the RV with an expiration date. So I'm still coming back. I still have a place to be. I still have a place to park. I still have a place to sleep, and I have a job. So I thought it would be a great time to say, okay, well, and I, and I told this to my daughter last night, you know, if I get down to the Redwoods and I decide, you know, this is just not for me and I'm not going to go an inch further, I'm just going to spend a week in the Redwoods, turn around and go back. And, um, it, 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 you know, I just don't know. I've only camped up to eight days straight in my life. I've never camped more than eight days straight. So it's going to be interesting for sure. But I'm really anxious to get to the RTR because I really want to, I mean, it's a it's a, a rally and you meet people, but also I'm networking, um, maybe making some friends to caravan with down the road. Can't wait to see um, Carolyn, uh, Caravan Carolyn Carolyn again. Um, I still haven't seen her since summertime. And give her a big hug. She's been through so much the last several months and but anyway, um, and plus learn something. You know, I, I think um, the people that go to the RTR that teach the seminars and the people that have been going over and over and have been living as a nomad for many, many years have something I can learn. And that's what I, I'm kind of anxious for. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. I'm actually on my way um, to the canal, um, to my friend's house, um, to house it. And I understand there's a big bad storm coming in and to expect winds up to 50, 60 miles per hour on the canal. I'm excited. I can't wait. <laughs> I love storms, especially storms on the water. So I'm going at the perfect time. Um, dinner tonight um, is going to be a cauliflower crusted pizza. And I'm going to stop off at the store and buy some 
extra pepperoni and some extra mozzarella and some sliced mushrooms and probably some red pepper flakes. Anyway, um, and wine, 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 wine. Anyway, I, uh, you guys, thank you so much for walk, watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for just being out there. Take care. Bye.